I'm looking like shit, so let's film a video. <laughs> it kind of seems like that is my brand right now. Today, I received a package in the mail, which I am really, really excited to unbox, and that is the so-called TBR cart. Taking my glasses off, but if you have been in the book community, and to be a little bit more specific, the bookstagram community, you have heard of the term TBR cart and you know what that looks like. If you have seen my recent bookshelf reorganization video, you know that literally all of my shelves are stuffed. So I thought the sole solution to this problem would be to get a TBR cart. <laughs> and I'm honestly a little bit too excited for this. Here's the bat boy, my baby, my new bookshelf TBR cart solution thing. <laughs> it is basically a rolling table that I want to have specifically next to my reading nook where I have this thing going on right now. A little bedside table situation, if you could call it that, which I put my current reads on, but also the books that I'm borrowing from people. But there is another stack of books. And in my bookshelf reorganization, those were all books that I had hauled and that I needed to fit somewhere on my shelves. But these books down here are mostly books that I brought with me from Utrecht when I officially moved back home. Let's unbox this bad boy. <laughs> This is it, folks. If you could call putting an IKEA shelf together as engineering, then this is my time to shine. Oh no, I need to use a screwdriver. You know what? Let's do this in the morning. Good night and see you later, folks. And we're back. <laughs> it's the next morning and I brought my, how'd you call these, my tools with me. I will unpack the box and try to put this thing together. <sighs> we shall see how it goes. <laughs> What always happens with me when I'm filming a video? Yup, my battery dies. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, I just built the TBR cart. It is movable in its full glory, and I love the color so much. I could either choose white, black, or green, and I thought that this would fit perfectly just with the plants in my room. I already have so much white, and black just doesn't fit really here. So I thought that this like mossy, muted forest green would be perfect. I would really love to have a little plant on this cart as well but I just don't know how to organize it yet. So this thing has three layers and I think that on top of everything, I want to have books that are very high on my TBR that I will be reading very soon, but also the books that I'm borrowing from people, I want those to be, I think, on the top as well. And besides that, I don't know if I really have any order in these shelves. I do have a lot of special edition fairy loot books that I brought from my dorm with me to my hometown. I just don't know how I want to put my books yet like do I want to have also like a rainbow theme thing going on so I might just first have a look at like if a rainbow theme would be possible and if not that's a shame but you know books are beautiful anyway so it doesn't really matter if they are color coordinated or not it's just that I personally just really like rainbow shelves so I love to see them back in my like TBR book cart situation okay so if I kind of put my books by color I have a ton of black books. Like I said, a ton of black books, some white-ish books, a couple of green ones, quite some blue and purple books. So I will try to have some kind of color coordination thing going on, but it's not going to be super precise. I just, I like everything to be ordered by color. So let's do another montage of me putting books inside of this cart. <laughs> all the books that I had here with me which were like laying on the ground on my TBR card and everything fits. I even have quite some space left 
for a couple of more books. So on the top of my TBR book cart, I have two books which are very, very high on my TBR, which is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. And I have Star Daughter, oh, so pretty, by Shveta Takrar, which was the August Fairy Loot book. I also put some white books on top of this cart because I think whichever books you put on top of the cart you will look at that the most and I really like to have white on top of it because it looks a bit more open and bright. These are the books that I just showed you and these are the books that I'm currently reading. So in here I have A Gathering of Shadows. I'm also currently reading The Promise which is an Avatar graphic novel and this book just <laughs> It didn't fit anywhere, so I've put it behind that one as well. Then on the second row, I've put my blue and purple books. They're really not in any particular order. I just thought that this looked really nice and kind of colorful. I don't think that in the back I have some books here. No, so look, this is all space left for even more books that will arrive in the future. And then the last tier kind of situation is the most full one, and those are all of my like black and really dark books, and some books that I just didn't know where to put them. Let's turn this thing around. I put those books behind them. So if I didn't like know where to put them or didn't really have like a color scheme, I put them behind here. So that's perfect about this cart. But I am honestly so, so happy with this book cart. It's so easy to move across your room wherever you want. So if it's in the way right here, just change it up by shoving the cart somewhere else. Plus it has a ton of space. If you do not have any space left for your books as well, I'd highly Highly recommended that you'd get one of these like TBR book cart kind of situations and it looks really really cute. <laughs> so that was my build and organize my TBR book cart with me video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. If you guys want to follow me on all of my different social media pages of course you can because I'm a booktuber. I have Goodreads but I also have Instagram, Twitter, and Etsy store plus an email address and links to those will all be in the description box down below as well and thank you so much for watching and i hope that i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>